morning. Today, we are in West Hollywood, and I'm about to go running. I'm about to do this, I'm about to do the run club again, but today will be my last day working with this client, so. Gotta go hard, gotta go hard. And not only that, this is also my last day in LA before I go to Columbia. Not even my last day, this is my last few hours before I catch my flight. I gotta catch my flight tonight. Look at the weather, man, it's perfect. Last few moments in LA. Oh, Hopefully, yeah, yeah. We got right. more ice coming too. Ice bath for the runners. So I think that's something new. It's good, bro. AT, what up, dog? Chilling, my bro. What up, dog? Oh, what up? What's, up, What's good, Frank? Repeat this shit. What's say, man? Yeah, he, he follows you guys, so he just came out. What? I think he's by himself, so. You, you, have you been to one of those? Yeah. Yeah, we had this last time. Someone like, just like Literally just like Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you said it, because it would have sounded a lot worse coming from me. Sure. Now, welcome, welcome. Where are you from? We can use, you, use your guys. Like, whichever like this. Oh, I don't, I'm not worried about that. I'm more okay. just along the lines. So it's just me and you, Hey man, you're good looking. You gotta use it. Damn, they just took it. The homies too, those are your boys. That's crazy. You really be parking where we're about to shoot, huh? We still good though, right? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we out here. Shit, hard as fuck. Press the camera, man. This was not part of the job description. Look, I know you guys want to give it. I know, you, I know that was slow. I get it, but you know we gotta think about the group here. All right. I'm Roy. What's your name? Edward. Nice to meet you. Let's get it. You guys all Good? Good to see you. Good to see you again. That was easy work for both y'all. I know that. <laughs> easy work. That was easy work for you. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah, I'm out here camping, bro. I'm, I'm gonna run today. I'm running today, and then I'm like, uh huh. And now you're feeling oh good today. We should have fucking done that. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I've been out there. Dude. Bro, uh, me, I'm from out here. Yeah, so you, you text max Yeah, 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 basically. Nah, come on, we from LA, family. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I grew all Mexicans out That's here. Up, bro, we got Chicanos out here, though. Yeah, I know, I Essays. Seen it. I seen it. That's what's up, though. Yeah. Bro, uh, what's you, your name, by the way? KT. KT, Beto, nice to meet you. Beto, yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, mucho gusto. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go hard, man. This is gonna be my last time working with my boy. It's certainly not personal. 
but it is what it is. So I want to make sure I give him some good piece of content that he can really use. And how do I pop that? Back in Hidden Hills, same routine. This is my last cut before I board my plane. Finish the last cut. Time to go home and finish my packing. Damn, today took a little bit longer than it should have. I don't know why. All right, let's go home. for the red eye. I had to take my clippers out, bag was overweight. Oof. Yeah. Quit. Got here in perfect time, that was easy. Yo, TSA Pre Global Entry is a game changer, I promise you that. Damn, this is like one of the very few times I'm like not in a rush at all for my flight. And it's kind of nice. So when you daily vlog, this is what it looks like, man. You edit wherever you can. And also not for nothing, I know what it looks like. Yo, I wear the same clothes every single day. Cause I kinda do. <laughs> these, these are not my only clothes. It's just, I work a lot, man. I don't want to think about my clothes too much, but I'll get better at that. Edit game. While I wait for the editing, I actually want to talk about something. I am in a long distance relationship and there are many obvious challenges that come with that. But I was always in the belief that like long distance relationships do not work, especially international long distance relationships. And but you know, I think I finally found a person that's worth holding on to and worth at least trying. You know what I mean? I'm kind of in a situation where like I'm gonna go as far as this goes until the wheels fall off essentially, right? And at this moment, because our circumstances, I have to go to South America to go see her. But she's totally worth it. But before going there, you know, you know, I have all this anxiety of, like, you kind of want to look good for her. And, like, because you haven't seen each other in so long, you want to make this time count. And there's a lot of pressure that goes into this because I'm only going to be with her for, like, two weeks. But you want to make the most of this time together for all the time, to make up for all the time that you guys are apart. Yeah, man, I don't know. My mental space is kind of crazy because of that because there's so much loaded with this trip, you know what I mean? And I feel like as the times pass by, even though my emotions for her are getting deeper, I think our tolerance towards this distance is getting more difficult. And sometimes you guys get comfortable and just, you know what I mean? You, I, I, you never want to be in a relationship where, like, it's just a system, right? You're FaceTiming, you're, you're, you know what I mean? You're just talking on the phone and that's how you guys connect. But luckily for me, me and this individual, me and my girlfriend, are able to connect on so many different levels, and I'm so grateful for that. And it honestly makes the moments that we get to meet like this, like tomorrow or today, I guess, that much more special. And I don't know, I figure, man, long distance, as difficult as it is, I think I'd regret it more if I never even tried, especially with someone like her. She's definitely worth it. Definitely the, mo one of the, definitely the most special girl I've ever been with. And... It's kind of like life, you know, you have your dreams, you don't really know how you're going to get there, but somehow you just have this faith that it's going to work out. That's kind of what I'm doing here at 1 a.m. in LAX, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm about to, like, you know what I mean? My flight get t takes off at 1.55 a.m. So, I'm definitely going to be restless. But same thing with her. She's about to take a bus at 4 a.m. just to come see me. But these are the efforts it takes, you know what I mean, with long distance. And, you know, I talked a little bit about the challenges. But some of the benefits are you kind of filter out the fake immediately. Like, if you guys don't have serious love for each other, it doesn't even get past, like, the first month. Because it's just so daunting and, like... There's nothing logical about like a long distance relation relationship other than love. You're, you're you know obviously you don't have the physical aspect of it, so you're forced to really connect on a, a real authentic and genuine level. So that that's a good thing. You know I feel like this is not only my best friend. Tell her everything. You know and and I think that itself is worth the worth the distance. You know but so hopefully this is a very you know not hopefully this will be a very exciting and event for two weeks. And yeah man, but yeah I, this is like probably the one part of my vlog i haven't been able to showcase i am very excited to see her and i'm excited to show her because she has a very very big personality so the next time you see me i will be in colombia footage didn't finish exporting so i'm out here on the move <laughs> Talk to go. it's about one and a half. Let's go. just made it in time 